Rick and Morty, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday, 6 Eastern. Uh, Congressman Paul, we know that you have uh, you, long felt that the Federal Reserve was not an organization that did any good. You felt that they had unchecked powers. <laughs> uh, as we take a look, I mean, many are, are hailing the Fed as the hero out of this, saying that if it weren't for the Fed, we'd be in a Great Depression after what happened one year ago with the collapse of Lehman. What do you think? Well, I, I think the Fed has done a wonderful job for Wall Street, but, you know, the people, the average guy lost a lot of money. Uh, they come in with more credit and pump it up and bail out all the big guys and getting all these bonuses for these individuals who should have failed, and they claim there's a recovery. But the recovery ought to be measured by the people working. You know, true unemployment now is 16 percent. And the people who lost the money have not regained the money. The people who have lost their houses have not gained, gotten their houses back. So there, there is no recovery. All there is is a lot of fudging. And, and I do agree that we do need a lot more regulation. But we need regulation of the Federal Reserve because that's the source of the problem. They create the easy credit. They create the bubbles. And we need enforcement of, uh, of contract law. We need enforcement that when you do something dumb, you ought to go bankrupt. Well, and we well, ought to have... Right, Anti-fraud laws. We uh, shouldn't protect these people. Right, well, well, we protected ask, them all. Yeah. The well, time. let me ask you about this because this is interesting. We just uh, we've been doing a series all week, banks gone bust, just about how we got here and what the answers are. And we just heard from our Alan Chernoff in the proposals that were given from Treasury to Congress, apparently two months ago, for uh, you guys to look over. It it calls for in this uh, regulatory overhaul to give the Federal Reserve more power over big financial firms. <laughs> This is this is unbelievable, but it's typical Washington politics. You know, somebody messes the system up. You know, the Fed is supposed to have high, uh, full employment, at the same time stable prices and a good dollar. They've destroyed 97% of the dollar. We have 16% unemployment rate. They bring on this financial crisis. They bail out all their buddies, and the little people keep suffering. So what do we do? We give, want to give more power to the Federal Reserve? It, it makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, so but, but then I, who, I don't see how we're going to solve this problem. You have to ask devil's advocate then. Who's, you know, who can be trusted less uh, going from your point of view? They're talking about the Fed having power to regulate some of these financial institutions that most economists we talk to say are still doing the exact same thing. They're just finding another way to do it. That all of the, uh, the, the moves and the risky moves that ended up bringing us down or bringing down some of these big firms a year ago, it's still happening. Nothing's changed. So what's the answer? Well, the, the answer is and the Fed. Uh, the Fed is the culprit. They're the ones who destroy the money and manipulate the economy. They have central economic planning. The people who love war love the Fed because you finance the war. The people who love welfare love the Fed because they monetize that debt. So if you want to stop this, you have to look at the Fed and find out what they're doing. They will not tell us who they bail out, who their friends are, and the trillions of dollars that they're involved in. Uh, they're, they're bigger than the Congress. They have more power than the Congress. Congress, the Fed chairman probably is more powerful than our president, and yet we refuse to look at it. Fortunately, though, our Congress is getting more uh, in the mood to look at the Federal Reserve. We do need to find out what they do and where these uh, benefits go, and they've been doing it for years, but the time has come for us to look at the Fed and find out that the market can work. Sound money is uh, mandated in the Constitution, not the central bank. Regulations by bureaucrats cannot compensate for all the harm and evil that the Federal Reserve does. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to regulate something that is uh, something that shouldn't even exist. All right. Uh, one of the other things that you mentioned twice, and people are probably going to be wondering why you said uh, unemployment is actually at 16 percent, because when we get the labor statistics, it's hovering around 9.7 percent. But you're also counting, and many others do, uh, as they take a look at this, people who have simply given up. Uh, they, they've decided to either take early retirement right. or they're no longer actively pursuing a job because they feel that they can't. Uh, as we look at that situation, retail sales also a big indicator of whether or not uh, things are turning around. We see, you know, the, the, the uptick in the stock market, and we see that things have been going really well on Wall Street. We haven't seen some of those other indicators changing. And people talk about the perhaps the, uh, the, the problem with getting into a double dip recession, meaning we seem to recover and then we drop back down again. What are some of the solutions to that? Well, I don't think we seem to be recovering. I mean, the people, there are more people unemployed all, all the time. So the solution is 
that we have to liquidate debt and we don't permit it. All the bad debt and bad investment were bought out by the taxpayer and transferred to the Treasury and the Federal Reserve. What you want to do is get rid of the debt. You either have to pay it off or liquidate it, and we're doing everything wrong. We're doing exactly what we did in the Depression. We're doing exactly what the Japanese did in the 1990s, and they prop up the bad investment. So you want to liquidate the debt. You don't want the consumer to spend more money. The consumer should spend less and save money, go back to work and pay down the debt and go back to work. And then the recession could have been over in a year. But no, when you prop up bad debt and prop up these prices and all the mistakes that we made, this prolongs the agony. And this is exactly what we're doing. They've had this year and a half or so of pumping in these trillion, trillions of dollars, and there's been no good results. So I, I see no good outcome from the policies that we have. We ought to believe in sound money, free markets, and getting the government out of the way, but to enforce the laws of the market. If you're doing a bad job, you should go bankrupt. Bankrupt, it should be liquidated instead of propping up all the bad companies. We shouldn't permit somebody like Goldman Sachs to come out here. Golden, they're the ones who came out, and, and believe it or not, they have a lot of influence in our Treasury and a lot of influence in our Federal Reserve. Mm. All right, well, your new book out, and the Fed. By the way, are you going to send a copy of that to Ben Bernanke? Uh, oh, yes, because his name happens to be in that book. I think I'd like to get a comment from him. <laughs>